a lot of people when they see the bed they just think that it kind of landed like that but it actually comes in the, I have trestle tables and on the trestle tables lots of little tiny plastic bags so all the dog ends are in plastic bags the tampons are in these tiny little plastic bags you, sometimes everything is labelled as well and the, all the sheets are in uh, airtight containers and then I have to unwrap I take everything out and then I start placing it the first thing I do is put the bed at the correct angle then I put the sheet on top and then I have to make the bed uh, today it didn't go so well at the beginning because the duvet was too flat and wouldn't puff up so I had to actually make the bed, get in the bed and then unmake the bed to, to make it work. So, And the, every single time I install it it's different from the last time, it's never going to be the same. I'm still incredibly attached to it, um, I wish I could keep it but it's not mine. Um, I feel I feel there's part of it, you know, which it's it's my past. It's from 16 years ago, so I kind of look at that, look at it today. I'm looking at it with nostalgia and fascination. Down to your right again, George. I have no idea where it's going to end up, and that's the kind of that's another reason why I've been doing all these interviews and everything today because um, I want to let people know that I still stand by it, and um, I would it would be wonderful if it could go to a museum. That could be the best thing possible, definitely. And what I need is like a wonderful benefactor that donates it to a museum. That would just be the best thing in the whole world.